Hey everybody. So I am in uh, one of my storages that I haven't been in for a long while. But I know there's a section right in here, probably where the ladder is to that lamp, of stuff I did maybe on my second or third video ever. Um, it's a it was a hoarder's house in Philadelphia where I got a ton of cool antiques. Um, but I think today I'm going to go through five to ten boxes, see if there's anything. Uh, I guess pretty cool. The diving pin. Um, see if there's anything good to put online. Because this is all the small stuff that I didn't take to the flea market that day. Uh, there could be anything in here. I did find uh, a lot of good Brimfield items from that house. So, this looks like garbage. And we're going to make some garbage boxes as we go along. I think that film roll is... Uh... Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that one. But, uh, those sell for four or five bucks. I think the rest is from a different lot. Boom, 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 boom. Again, there could be, I think that box just got put in there. So, that is a garbage box. You know, this box is a garbage box, but after that, it looks like where that dog is and stuff is from from that house. I know that big whiskey bottle is from that house. This is all stuff I've been meaning to get to. And I packed a lot of it just because that's, that's nice. Um... I bet that uh, glows. Normally they're not, uh, the juicers aren't as nice as that one. But yeah, I guess if you go to, if you go and look at my oldest videos, uh, this is like the third or fourth uh, video that I ever did. And these were all the boxes. Ooh. <laughs> I see a piece of jadeite. Fire King. Excellent. I bet that's a decent one. No chips. A little pitcher. I bet these two would actually do fairly well online. Come on, more Fire King. Looks like another piece. Oh, actually, have this uh, same bowl at home. Now I'll have a pair. Some more depression glass. It's definitely been a. It's a really nice day. Um, It's almost too warm to work out in the garden today, but that's the plan for this afternoon. I figure I'm going to work on my next bid or bed. So, can't spend all day going through boxes. I figure I'll go through about seven or eight, and then if I actually find some stuff to sell, I will uh, we'll come back. That'll actually make a really nice ice cream. No clue what this is. He packed everything kind of weird. Um, and he did have a bunch of... A uh, bunch of collectibles and stuff. It was... Uh, I think I got a huge aluminum chair from this. Oh, uh, that's a shame. It's actually kind of a cool vase. It's got a big crack on the bottom though. Goes all the way around. 
big chip up there too. Oh well. Can't win them all. I think that is... Oh, one more piece. Ooh. Used to sell these swizzle sticks to gentlemen up in New York City. Used to give me a... Uh, I think it was $3 each for every blue one I got them. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like two broken pieces. Alright, I'm going to stick that with that garbage. And we'll pack the stuff that is going to go to the flea market another day. This depression glass should do fairly well there. The stuff that I'm going to try to sell on eBay, I'm going to leave out here until I fill up the table and then we'll pack up that box and be on our way. I think I could sell those on eBay. I mean, not on eBay, at the flea market. It's almost a nice junk drawer lot. Good little marble. I'll put it in with one of the jars I have. Roller skate key. Church key. Bottle opener. some type of clip. Some more old keys. I don't think this is a garbage a lot. I don't know what I'm going to do with it though. Like the old thread. Clock gear. Looks like two tie bars. Nice early charm. And it definitely would make a good junk drawer lot. This is a cast iron head probably to the guy who rides like the tractor. Like the farmer's head. Nineteen forty ticket stub. This is probably right before the war, this box. Well, that looks like... I'm not sure, it's just a nice braided keychain type thing. It says 14, or maybe it's 19, 18? I'm not sure. No, it's definitely a 4, 1, 4, 1, 8. Kind of fun little ring. Another 1940s ticket. Okay. So, all this stuff... Like the reason I'm pulling it out and putting it in this pile right here. Actually, I actually have a box for all the weight. Um, if you list all these little parts and pieces and put it as a junk drawer lot, you can get a uh, 5, 10, 15 bucks for oddball miscellaneous stuff that, you know, you might just throw out because it's in the way. Old camera uh, for so I'm just trying to pull out all the stuff that somebody will uh, could use in a craft or something. They are good crafter lots, uh, the junk drawer lots normally. I think that's about everything. One more of those weird clips. You got a pair of those. Nail file. Oh, 
another really cool uh I guess that's a Jewish war veteran little piece of paper. One more typer. Alright, I'm gonna dump the rest of this in my garbage bag and uh if we, I know there's a lot of little stuff in this uh, lot, so I'm going to try to make a, enough to fill up this drawer with all the little things and list that as a junk drawer lot. A little aluminum film reel will do well. With things like uh, the junk drawer lot, you can always check all this stuff on uh, eBay if you go uh, completed listings and you type in the junk drawer lots. You can see uh, what people are uh, getting for a lot of this stuff. Looks like a lot of flea markety stuff. Is that a box? No, it's a little trivet. Jock straps. That's definitely a good eBay thing. But I'm gonna sell it at the flea market. We the people. Little coin. Should almost just pour this box out. pretty great if there was like a old calculator watch or something. Pokemon. Most of this to me is garbage. But I can sell that pencil eraser at the flea market. I mean pencil sharpener. I don't think this is from that lot. This looks like a storage room box that I needed to it gone through. I don't know what that is. It's kind of different though. There's some old stuff mixed in here, but bow tie lots always sell for decent money. CD player. Always check uh, wallets. You never know what you're going to find when you're going through old storage room stuff. The radar dish. I know that's sellable. Put that in my This looks mostly like garbage. No cash. A cool vintage dinosaur sticker. Definitely have a lot of trash to throw out. Let's that little magnifying glass. All right. Let's see if we can get another. I wonder what's in this um, tub right here. Move these clocks over. I think the best thing I found in uh, all this stuff was a uh, pocket or a bag of gold. Um, 
it's just a bunch of vintagey clothes. Believe it or not, all the exercise equipment stuff is uh, selling real well online. I know what that thing is. It's like an old handkerchief box. The box itself is kind of nice. I remember taking this box to the flea market. Let's see what this is. Feels like it could be Victorian. Mm, no. Alright. I have to move some boxes. Well, move some uh, boxes. Actually, puzzles, believe it or not, are doing uh, real well online right now. Um, it's amazing, especially uh, sealed ones. Any babies. Oh, I don't know if that's all there, but we'll take a look. Old Orphan Annie cards. That looks like uh, whatever that Jordan... Uh, cartoon movie was. Can't think of the name of it. All this stuff will sell at the flea market. Especially the model. They sell pretty well online, but the box is pretty, uh, pretty beat. All the, oh, these are weird, like, meat type books or dresser hooks. sure who that is unless she has a gem in her uh, stomach but there's this box right here is falling out oh no actually this is actually pretty good uh, they're all the vintage sliding pens the camel goes up but these might actually do pretty good there's a Disney one with Mickey well I think I'm gonna actually have to list these I don't know what the pamphlets are on the bottom drink recipes and guides but Probably can do two or three lots of these uh, sliding pens. I guess that's a cable car for seven falls. Seems to be a good collection. Uh, big gin bottle. That will sell well at the flea market. I bet it would sell good at uh, online and just, I'm not, I'm not gonna ship that. At least not yet. It'd been nice if that was a $10 bill. One of those business cards. Nineteen seventy four uh, Tiger. I don't know. I think it's supposed to make a sound when you push that, but I think the bladders are gone. That will sell well. Old bottle. It's got a nice panel mark. Actually, that one might be worth listing. It's older than than most. Might be uh, early 1800s. Put that there. The candle soup thing. Sell that. 
at the flea market. Don't know what this stuff is. Looks like uh, mineral specimens. Pretty cool. They always do good with that stuff at the flea market. So, anything looks like it could be for. Looks like it could be for somebody making jewelry. And it has the gram weight on them, so it tends to make me think it's for uh, for jewelry. This feels like a could be a big garnet. But I really don't know uh how that would polish up. I don't know if anybody knows if that type of garnet would polish up. And I'll keep the. Actually, I could always reweigh them if they're worth listing. I think this is. So this one's 600 grams or the, the heaviest one. But no, it doesn't seem like something somebody would use for jewelry. I don't know. I'll put it in the flea market box to go to the flea market. Let's see if there's anything else in here. It says Little Women. Looks like it's uh, 1896. I don't know when they plant. Oh no, 1880. That one is. I don't know when they made the first. Uh, when the first edition was. Uh, they actually looked it up eBay. Three to fifteen bucks. Fun if there was like a old Tolkien or something like that. Piece of copper for copper scrap. Sounds fun. Uh, one little. Most of these marbles are fairly new. A couple milk glass ones. out those and sell the rest at the market. wonder if the other jar is the same thing. Nope. It's just an empty tin. For glasses. A little night light. Kind of fun. Alright, I guess the big winner in that box was the pens. Put that stone back. Alright, go get another one. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Old Notre Dame hat. It's actually uh, could go in the garden like a plaster or something. I wonder if this has a top. Looks like a... I'm not sure. Looks like a 
cowl almost. Maybe it holds chocolate of some sort. Some slide glass. Woohoo! Jewelry. I'll take this whole little water pitcher. See what if there's anything good in it. Never know. First piece of sterling of the day. It doesn't look like too much else. with that what else was in here this corkscrew that's a good flea market piece like that little quarter cup I guess that's for a tap for a barrel <laughs> little pig Big shot glass. I kind of like that one. These are actually sellable. They're uh, clips for one of the old World War II uh, guns. I know the there's two or three people that buy them fairly regular at the flea market. Yeah, the old pencils. Yeah, the racers are kind of going. Oh wow, look at the measuring on this one though. That's pretty cool. Definitely a really nice picture. You know, at the flea market I can get 10, 15 bucks for that. All right, let's see what else was in that box. Anything in that one? Nope. No Beanie Babies. This looks like a porcelain tray. What happened was, with this uh, house, I uh, only had a, like a two-day thing, and uh, I, had a, I had a bunch of storage rooms I was doing that week, so ended up uh, running like three loads to uh, to this warehouse. I took a bunch of it to, uh, I like the little cowboy hat. I took a bunch of the better stuff that was bigger to uh, Brimfield. And actually we had a really good show that day. Um, and just never got to these boxes. So that's kind of how this ended up existing. If I can sell that little cowboy hat, it might be an ashtray. Put that in, in there. I wonder what this is. Is it a bank? Is it a book? Ooh, kind of fun. Presidential coins. what year it's from. Oh, he bought it at auction. I guess. He got the coin set for $20 in 08. So, that might be something to try on eBay. bunch of 
little brass and copper, it looks like, in this paper bag. Actually, all this stuff is like dollhouse size furniture in brass and copper. Definitely will do good at the flea market. This is heavy. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's an amethyst goose. Almost looks like it could be silver, but I can't. I don't think so. Trying to read that. It has a. It's like B A P. And it almost looks like a nine zero. Yeah, I don't think it is. It's kind of fun though. I wonder if there's two of them. This is heavy also. So. Could be. Yep. Second one. This one worked. It has like a silver solder on it. I don't see a. I don't see a hallmark on this one though. And the last thing was a little ring tray. It's nice. It's got a nurse on it. Oh, it's a veterinarian. She's got a little cat. All right. Throw this bag out, I think. Let's make sure there's no money in the side packet. The only reason I always check all these is, I would say, one out of every 40 or 50 times you'll find a surprise in a in a bag of something that you're cleaning could be just a little silver chain but can find cash you really really never know all right i guess this one is done actually i remember having that at the flea market i only have the one but it is a really nice claw claw and ball, table leg. Um, all right, I want to get to this box here, and I still have, I don't know, it looks like 15 boxes from this lot to go through. So let me move some boxes. So I was able to make room, did find a, uh, Two good fishing poles, though. I always like using these on a canoe. This really ultra light, uh, it's a little Daiwa reel. But definitely, uh, if you catch a decent small small mouth on these, it's a lot of fun. All right, looks like. see what's underneath this thing first. Forward camera. It's like a silver plate basket almost. Old uh, casino. It's so hard to get one hand. 
See, that's kind of what you're looking for. Look at all those bands of... He had a... Uh, this guy had a bunch of casino uh, receipts of payouts from the slot machine. Like 15, 20, 12 grand. I, he must have had a huge gambling problem, but it's kind of a shame. But you never know, there might be a stack somewhere. We definitely took our time looking for a lot of it, but I like this little Boy Scout ashtray. Looks like some NES controllers. This might actually be a decent controller. NES Max. I'm not 100% sure. Some flea market bags. Oops. Sorry. Ugly camera. I wonder what the max is worth. I'll have to look that up later. Mm, nothing good in watches. The magnets. Oh, it'd be nice to find a brown one. Oh, man. That's it. Looks like a good box, though. know this came from him because it has all the beanie babies in it but I'm gonna need two hands to move that all right well I moved that huge uh, light over it looks like this is a fun box there was a lot of boxes that had uh, a bunch of uh, interesting things in them that we just loaded the box to save time so I'll bring that over and see if there's anything good in here looks like a first piece of gold filled nice uh, glasses frame put that with that um, silver I like the colored pencil. That actually might do okay because it's really, really old. It's probably from the 50s is my guess. I'll try that online. <coughs> Hull piggy planter jar. Oh, the dust is getting to me. It's an odd Buddha. His mouth actually opens. Depression glass. Uh, there's... I like that little flame light bulb. Probably from the 50s. Those all the early Christmas stuff always sells real well at the flea market. Aluminum ducks. A little Masonic light or a lantern. 1968 is on that was from. Oh, that's kind of fun. Nice piece of art glass. wonder if it's got a signature. It does. I can't quite make it out in this light, but it looks like Czechoslovakia. So it's crystal vase. It'll do fairly well at the flea market. The Limoges hasn't been selling well for me. More lanterns. A little dresser jar. 
It's nice none of this is really busted too bad. Or at all. This is like a... Might actually be a terracotta. For the garden. It's kind of fun. Looks like there's two of those. And painted white. Probably uh that's probably the best thing out of this box so far. They're probably from the 30s. But since there's a pair, they can go on the side of... Oh, there's a lot of paper and stuff at the bottom of this. A little dragon vase. Bacterial soup. <laughs> kind of like that guy. It's like a pig man. Just says made in China. Probably from the 40s. It's got the little garden rake and everything. And looks like just one of those candlesticks. worms. Uh, make me think of crab cakes. Little crab cake. I don't know if it's an ashtray or if it's a uh, just for holding like lump crab meat. This is definitely an ashtray. Wildwood, New Jersey. It's kind of fun. The angel. It's probably from the teens or 20s. Nice little tin frame. Uh, just a zebra. No brakes though. Definitely a uh, sellable. Look like any other little uh, types of treasure in here. Oh, wait, something heavy in this bag. Feels like it's maybe a uh, doll furniture. Kind of like the barrel. There's a watering can in there too. Kind of fun. like the rest of this is mostly trash. Nothing in the papers. Dream Team Baseball. Sunoco edition. A little cheese cutting. I kind of like that. Not actually so. Ooh, first money of the day. Oh no, it's not money. Oh, one Canadian dollar. And some lucky brass tokens from Sesame Place. Oh, there is a dime. Doing pretty good. Oh, 1948. It's a silver dime. That's great. Anything 1964 and before is uh, 64 and before is silver in dimes, quarters, nickels, not. Uh, and I think it's 67 to 64 is silver clad, so it's got a percentage of silver. Must have had a thing for pigs. Kind of want to see if there's any more uh, coins in here. good thing is I have a lot more boxes to go through, but a lot of them I've actually no kind of have an inkling what's uh, inside them. It's 
mostly this uh, this section right here is where I have no clue. So I'm gonna think I'm going to put all this. Uh, I got these five eBay things, the coins, um, the pencils, the pen lot with the. Uh, let's see if that's pretty cool with the Enterprise flying. Um, piece of Fire King, this nice early bottle, and uh, I have to put that under a black light, but it sure looks like it should shine. But it's a great juicer. Uh, so, I I was happy for the little bit of time that we spent here going through these boxes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, everybody uh, be safe out there. Thank you very much for uh, all the nice comments. I am looking for uh, question and answers for when I do the wire stripping. So if anybody has some good questions, um, I'm writing them down, and uh, I'll answer those while I'm doing the wire stripping. So, I should do that later on this week, hopefully, after I finish my last garden bed. Um, have a good day. See everybody later. Peace. If you haven't yet, give somebody a call who, uh, you know, might be stuck at home. Well, I think we're all stuck at home, but you know what I mean. All right. See you later. Peace. I have to figure out who she is, too. I'll put her in the pen box.